course. I mean, I always look. Some people don't like knowing who's in their race. I love knowing. Um, I love to visualize before. So, yeah, just kind of going in there. Um, you know, not too focused on who's in the race, obviously. Like, so much respect to those ladies, but I got to focus on what I'm doing. So, just making sure I'm going in there, executing my race plan every time. Now, that's a great strategy. That's probably one of the reasons why she's such a great athlete. Abby Steiner acknowledges and recognizes the strength of the people she's up against, but also makes sure that she's not intimidated and instead focuses on her own strengths. Fans undoubtedly missed her on the track, so they're now very eager to watch her progress this Olympic season. Mind you, she does not disappoint. In her first race back from surgery, Abby Steiner won the 400 meter at the Gamecock Invitational held in Columbia, South Carolina. She was followed by Karima Davis and Jaheel Register in second and third place, who clocked 51.98 and 53.99 respectively. Simply put, it was at the event hosted by South Carolina Track and Field at the Sheila and Morris Kreger Track, where Steiner started her season with an impressive victory from a challenging heel surgery. Competing in her first race since the USA Championships last summer, Steiner clocked 51.58 seconds, the fastest time recorded across all sections of the event. As you all know, she is renowned for capturing three NCAA 200-meter titles and holding an outdoor personal best of 21.77 seconds in the half-lap event. Her 2023 season was cut short due to an Achilles tendonitis issue. This setback prevented her from securing a spot on the U.S. team for the World Athletics Championships and achieving back-to-back -back U.S. 200-meter titles at the 2023 U.S. Championships, where she finished fourth in the event behind the likes of Gabby Thomas, Shakari Richardson, and Kayla White last summer. Anyhow, not long after her win at the Gamecock Invitational, it was announced that Abby would be among the high-profile athletes Jamaican fans will be watching closely at the Jamaican Athletics Invitational in Kingston, Jamaica. There, Steiner is set to face off against St. Lucia's Julian Alfred, the world indoor women's 60-meter champion, and Great Britain's Dinah Asher Smith, among others. Unsurprisingly, the excitement for the inaugural Jamaica Athletics Invitational is out of this world with a stellar lineup of track and field stars ready to dazzle the crowds. Before that, though, Steiner continued her competitive season at the 2024 Tom Jones Memorial Invitational held at the James G. Presley Stadium Percy Beard Track at the University of Florida in mid-April. There, she continued with another solid performance over the 100 meters. Steiner clocked a time of 11.05 seconds, 1.1 milliseconds, to win her heat of the women's 100 meters and place fourth overall in the list of competitors. Steiner also ran as part of the USA Red Team along with Micah Briscoe, Jenna Prandini, and Dalia Hobbs, and finished second in the women's 4x400 meter relay in a time of 3 minutes 24.09 seconds. The same team competed in the women's 4x100 meters and won in 41.94 seconds, closely followed by another U.S. team in 41.99 seconds. Even Steiner can't help but be excited with how her race has turned out so far. In an Instagram story, she wrote, 4x100 meters, 11.05, first one since surgery, and my fastest season opener ever. So good to be back. Then, at the USATF Bermuda Grand Prix, Steiner clinched a win for the United States. It was at this event that she made her 200-meter season debut dash, securing gold with a time of 22.71 seconds. This marked her second consecutive 200-meter win on the island. Running from lane 6, she got out of the blocks right away and made up the stagger quickly. By the time she came through the turn, Steiner already held a comfortable lead and kept strong through the finish line. She completed the 200-meter race in 22.71 seconds ahead of runner-up Kennedy Flannel, who finished in 23.01. Although Abby's time of 22.71 was far off from her personal best of 21.77 seconds in the 200 meters, it was quite impressive considering her return from a serious injury. Do not fret, however, since the time actually made her the only woman to breach the 23-second mark. In a post-race interview, she expressed, Yeah, I feel great. That was my first 200 since U.S. Champs last year. So excited to get the first one under my bow. She is obviously excited, as is evidenced by yet another Instagram story, which she captioned, Bermuda Recap. 
first 200 in almost 10 months. 60 degrees and windy, but got the job done. As she said, it was her first 200 meter race. That itself implies that there are more to come. Indeed, there are. After all, Steiner will be among the top contenders in the 200 meter race in the US Olympic trials, which will begin on June 21st in Eugene, Oregon. The 200 meter heats start on June 27th with the final set for June 29th. She hopes to qualify for her first Olympics and will try to win a medal in the 200 meters and take home relay golds for Team USA. Speaking of the 200 meters, Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni recently made waves when she pulled out from competing in the 400 meter hurdles at the LA Grand Prix. For context, Olympics.com earlier announced that the American will run her first 400 meter hurdles at the 2024 USATF Los Angeles Grand Prix on May 18th. However, recent news shows that the Olympic champion decided to compete in the 200 meter at the event as she prepares for the Olympic trials scheduled in June. As mentioned, her decision to compete in the 200 meter came as a shocker as she primarily competes in the 400 meter hurdles and the 400 meters. As most of you are aware, McLaughlin Lavroni started the Olympic season a little late after skipping the entire indoor season as she was recovering from a knee injury which led her to skip a major part of the 2023 season. Unlike Abby though, Sydney did not require surgery but underwent physical therapy along with strength and conditioning work instead. She made her season debut at the Oxy Invitational and clinched the gold medal in the 100 meter hurdles dominating the pack and clocking 12.71 seconds. Anyway, her decision to compete in the 200 meter at the LA Grand Prix instead of the 400 meter hurdles surprised fans. Nevertheless, they were excited to witness the incredible showdown that was about to happen in the 200 meters, wherein the likes of great athletes like Gabby Thomas and Abby Steiner would be going head to head with McLaughlin. In a tweet, a user expressed their astonishment on social media, calling McLaughlin's decision a shocking twist of events. A very interesting decision, Owen wrote, noting that it remains to be seen which event Sydney will focus on at the Olympic trials. Not just fans, but even fellow track and field athletes like Tara Davis were taken aback by McLaughlin's decision. Davis shared her surprise by reposting the said tweet with a gasp emoji, reflecting the widespread astonishment within the athletic community. Some, however, weren't as excited with the switch. I was really hoping to see Sydney and Femka clash, one wrote. In any case, a race between Sydney and Abby is something worth looking forward to. So far this season, we've seen Sydney compete at Mount Sac in the 4x100m relay and most recently at the Oxy Invitational, where she ran the 100-200 double, winning each race. Abby, on the other hand, exhibited solid performances over the 100m, 200m, and 400m. On the way to Paris, athletes are on the edge without a doubt. Fun fact. It's been 100 years since the Olympics were held in Paris, and they are now around 70 days away. The 2024 Summer Games open on July 26th as the world fixes its eyes on the City of Light. Do you think Abby Steiner, a University of Kentucky Sprint star who has been making waves in the track and field arena, can take on Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni, Olympic gold medalist in the 4x400m relay and the women's 400m hurdles? That we'll have to see soon. In the meantime, watch this to see who else is making waves this season.